Ladies and gentlemen, ever since I first started playing Paragon, I have wanted a tool to calculate my optimal DPS and the appropriate stats to get that DPS. I know that there is a optimum way of doing things that produces the maximum amount of DPS, and that's probably not what our intuition tells us. Science and math can tell us what is the appropriate thing and I decided to go on that adventure to make said tool. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, published for free for the community to use at large. And this is the how-to video to use this spreadsheet. <laughs> with the spreadsheet guide. This is a simple video here to show you how to best use what you see here in front of you. So this is the optimal DPS calculator and stat optimizer. Fairly simple, all what you have to do is follow these steps and really you can get what you want out of your heroes. So the first step here is to select your hero from the drop down menu. Right now we have Sparrow. We can pick anybody here that can really use attack speed, crit, and power and penetration. So casters aren't included. Crunch, Fang, Mount, Greystone, Grim, Grex, Kalari, Chimera, Kwong, Murdoch, Rampage, Richter, Severage, Sparrow, Steel, Twinblast. You can select any of the heroes that you want to find out the best build for. The second step here is to manually input your hero level. We're gonna say hero level 15, why not? And step three, select the total value of damage, attack speed, and crit without the crit bonus, without that crit bonus that we are treating as five CP. We're treating that as five CP. That is the cost to you for that passive. That is the cost to you, okay? points invested here you simply input that you have to go in your final build and count up everything and see what you get because remember that is also from fully upgraded bonuses and if you really even want to be picky you can include actives and passives so something uh, some active card that gives you power or attack speed or anything at a particular time you can include that if you like to here's a little note ladies and gentlemen one cp is worth six power 5.5 attack speed or four percent crit chance or four basic pen or two ability pen go over to my power versus penetration video and you will see that penetration basically is power so your power and penetration is included there all what you have to do then is once you have once you have put that in then the math is run and it might take a while note you will need to hit save in order for some of the tables and graphs that we're going to look at later on to be updated it will take some time for everything to process because believe me there's a ton going on behind the scenes here that i've hidden that you don't even need to worry about it's going to take some time don't be alarmed if the little circle icon is going on for a while. It needs the time. So something is spit out, ladies and gentlemen. This is the set, the fourth step. This is the perfect CP amount of power, attack speed, and crit to produce the maximum DPS possible. The DPS is spit out here, and the appropriate amount of power penetration, the appropriate amount of attack speed, and the appropriate amount of critical strike chance that you need to get the perfect DPS. That is the optimum amount of you of 50 CPs worth of value of all of those things. This is the perfect distribution of those. So really it's quite that simple. You can go back into your deck, try to tweak around those, including those fully upgraded bonuses too. It makes it quite interesting to try to get that. Step five, the graph below and table to the right. So this graph here and this table over here to the right shows when to build power, attack speed and crit and exactly how much. So as you can see here on this side is optimum, is optimal CP allocation. So anywhere from zero to 30 CP of any of these three stats as they are color coded here on this graph. And this is total CP of value in your whole deck. So anywhere from one to 66, that is the maximum amount of CP of value you can get. You can see how it works right off the bat you know want a lot of power with sparrow and then crit kind of works its way up and attack speed it follows behind now remember though that crit has a 100 percent bonus it has that 100 percent bonus so if we go on over here to this 
chart here, we have CP value going on this side. So, you know, in the early game, when you get one CP, when you get four, when you get six, this is how much of each of the stats you should be building in order to best optimize your DPS. Now, of course, you have to manually change your level if you really want to kind of really get that picky. You know, if I have eight CP, what level am I? Input that there and then this will change, etc., etc. But as you can see, this is at 15 CP, nine into power, two into attack speed, but four into crit. I simply couldn't make it work um, trying to include that crit bonus, like the first five has to go into crit bonus, so then calculate that and then spit out some optimized values. I could, I, I just, I couldn't, I am sorry. So you have to, the first five CP needs to go into the crit bonus first. So for Sparrow here, uh, this five is actually going into the crit bonus. So really what you have to do if you want to use this um, as a helpful tool, what I would do is simply go with the trends. As you can see, we need a lot of power and a pretty good amount of attack speed as well before uh, you know, if before going into crit really makes sense. So what I would do and go into power and then attack speed and then I would kind of jump all of a sudden right into it, right into crit later on. So just remember that first five CP needs to go into, a, into crit or into the crit bonus. So this isn't necessarily true. I just, I couldn't simply um, make that work. So there you go. Now, Step six, refer to the three tables found below all of this for optimum stats per hero level for maximum DPS. So if we go down here, there's a whole other thing here. So step six, these tables represent exactly how much CP's worth of power, attack speed, and crit one should have at each hero level, the horizontal axis here, at each hero level, one through 15, according to certain amounts of total CP that you have collected in the game, which is this side here, total CP one through 66 of value. Okay, now for maximum DPS at those moments. So what is the appropriate amount of power, optimum CP's worth of power per hero level for maximum DPS? So if I'm level eight and I have 15 CP, uh, I, I know that if for my optimum DPS, I need 10 CPs worth of value of power. And if we go over here, there's more. This is attack speed per hero level. So one through 15 hero level and total CP available. So for, for exact, if we're the same, eight, we're level eight and we have 15 CP of power, we need two into attack speed. But then the hard part comes with crit. Again, I simply couldn't not that smart I couldn't get it to work so remember that the first five CP on this chart has to go towards a 100% crit bonus so if we're level 8 with 15 CP it, it the math says 3% crit or 3 CP into crit um, but that's with the hero with the crit bonus so you don't have the crit bonus so put that 3 CP into something else more damage maybe one attack speed I simply couldn't make that work. So for that first early game, I think everybody knows that you go into damage with a little bit of attack speed for a large majority of that early mid game, and then you go into crit, but just keep that in mind. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the, that is the chart. If you do want to change your hero uh, from Sparrow to say, let's go uh, Severog here. You can see that this changes immediately. It takes a little bit of a moment to for this to change if for this to change but if i want this to change and these graphs you need to hit save in order for uh, the tables and graphs to update just how it kind of works so it's going to take a while so i might as well pause the video here and there we go ladies and gentlemen it took a solid two minutes for this to update and i have a core i7 first generation but pretty okay powerful computer so it might take a while for yours so don't worry and with Severog if we're doing a weird damage Severog you can see there's a perfect op optimization a lot of crit chance simply because uh, well he doesn't scale necessarily all that well with damage crit chance is easy boost damage kind of makes sense as you can see for some reason he loves crit again that's with 100% bonus though remember that so there you go and then you can see that all of this has changed etc etc just hit just remember, it will take some time for it to populate 
there you go. Guys, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me on my YouTube channel um, or just simply sending me an email on, on my YouTube channel as well because I would love to answer, those, answer your questions, help you out if you don't understand any of this because this, I think, is a fantastic tool for you to use to best optimize your builds. Ladies and gentlemen, please like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, share it with the community, please, because this is going to be posted. You will find the link to the uh, to the document down below on a, the Google Drive, so you can go there, download it, and use it at, use it freely for free. Please share it again, of course, share it with the community, and of course subscribe if you guys like this content found it useful please please subscribe so i can do it for you in the future till next time like always stay optimistic and positive